Hello, I'm here to demonstrate how easy and simple it is to program the WordTag S3 communicator phones. I will be using the quick setup programming method that will walk you through programming your phone numbers and your site identification message. However, please remember that more advanced programming options are available in the instructions manual. Before we start, there are a few things that need to be done. First, locate a charged 9 volt battery. Second, have all the information to be programmed ready, like emergency numbers and site location. And finally, don't be afraid to program the WordTech phones. The phone can easily be programmed back to the factory settings with the push of a few buttons. Let's begin. First, plug in your 9 volt battery to the battery lead located below the keypad. While it is not necessary to have a phone line plugged in to program the phone, the S3C can detect if a valid working phone line exists. This can be done by pushing the talk end button. The phone will immediately announce if the line is good or not. As you can see, a valid phone line does not exist. I will now hit the talk end button. Telephone line failure. I will now plug in a valid phone line. I will hit the talk end button again. Enter number to be called. Now that we have a valid phone line, we can continue. Sometimes building phone systems require a 9 to be dialed to get an outside line. If this is required for your system, just remember when programming that you must dial 9 and then star before the number. This will provide the delay required to get an outside line. It's time to program the phone. The WordTech phones are capable of accepting three emergency numbers. Press the emergency phone number button. The phone will announce press 1 for the first number, 2 for the second number, and 3 for the third number. Choose the emergency number to be programmed, enter the numbers, and then press the pound key. You can use up to 24 digits. Our emergency number is 419-726-1066. I will now press the emergency phone number button. Emergency numbers. Press 1 for first number, 2 for second number, 3 for third number, or star 0 to disconnect. I will press 1 for first number. Enter number followed by pound. I will press 9 star 419 Seven two six one zero six six pound. You entered nine star four one nine seven two six one zero six six. Emergency numbers. As you can see, I pushed star zero to exit program mode. You have the option of continuing with the second and third numbers accordingly. It is not necessary to program all three numbers, but the option is there. In an emergency, the phone will dial the first number for 45 seconds, and if not answered, it will roll to the second number and dial for 60 seconds, and then on to the third number where it will dial for 120 seconds. Once the emergency numbers are programmed, the next step is to program the site identification message. This will identify the location of where the emergency call is coming from. Typical messages include the address and the name of the building, as well as the elevator number if there is more than one elevator. The site ID should not exceed 16 seconds in length. Press the site ID message button. The phone will announce press 1 to record after the tone. After you record the site ID, press the pound key to set. Once your site ID is complete, dial star 0 to end program. I will now press the site ID message button. Site identification message. Press 1 to record or star 0 to disconnect. I will press 1 to record. At the tone, record your message followed by pound. Our example is... Wartech Building, 6200 Brent Drive, car number 3. You recorded. Wartech Building, 6200 Brent Drive, car number 3. Site identification message. As you can see, the Wartech phones are the easiest phones to program on the market and very simple to install and troubleshoot. They can be programmed in less than 5 minutes. In the beginning, I told you not to be afraid to program the Wartech phones, because you can easily return the phone's programming to the factory settings by pushing the star and the pound keys at the same time. I will now press the star and pound keys at the same time. Factory defaults. Press 1 to reset to default. 2 to cancel or star 0 to disconnect. I will press 1 to go to default. Factory reset. If you have any questions or would like additional information on the WordTech S3 communication products, please contact WordTech at 800-837-1066 or visit us online at wordtech.com. Thank you.